And now, marine weather around Alaska. Hello, this is your Alaska Marine Weather Outlook. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Friday, October 4th, 2024. And we begin the outlook with the state of uh, today's sea ice this afternoon. No notable ice uh, along uh, the Beaufort Sea coastline, Chukchi Sea coast. We still have that area of ice off of the uh, Russian Arctic coast, and we have just entered now in the early portion of October, the beginning of the new ice growth season. But uh, it'll be a little while yet before we get consistently some deeper cold air entrenched across the region to allow that ice to build. But in the meantime, we have a powerful low pressure system yesterday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, this low uh, into the evening hours bombed out around 950 millibars. This low is beginning to fill now at 964 millibars late tonight, early Saturday morning. It's going to be drifting southeastward. Meanwhile, secondary low will be taking shape over this region uh, as we go through late Saturday into Sunday and then eventually just kind of moving up and weakening over the Gulf early next week. But this initial lead occluded front does have gusty winds and uh, a band of moderate to locally heavy rain impacting areas along the eastern Kenai coast, Prince William Sound, all the way toward Yakutat and pushing into the panhandle tonight and early on Saturday. And as we get into Saturday afternoon, the main original low uh, continues to slowly fill, but a secondary low will be taking shape well south and southeast of the Alaska Peninsula and Kodiak Island. And there will be another push of moisture coming up out of the North Pacific that's going to be taking aim on the northeastern Gulf Coast and into the Panhandle for Sunday afternoon and evening. And by Sunday, we find the secondary low located here just southeast of Kodiak Island. A little more stronger, smaller low that developed along the front and that's going to perhaps enhance uh, some of the, the precipitation, some gusty winds there along the panhandle for Sunday afternoon and early evening. The original low weakening kind of as just this little nub at the end of uh, the circulation pushing now into the back into the North Pacific. Areas of the interior will remain uh, mostly clear to partly cloudy, but we still have a rather brisk uh, northeast to northerly flow along uh, the eastern bearing west coast and then northwesterly winds there across the Aleutians. So here is the marine outlook uh, for Saturday for the inner channels of the panhandle southeast to south winds 20 to 25 knots. Uh, waves generally running four or five feet there in the inner channels including Lynn Canal, Dixon Entrance. We're looking at seven to ten foot waves with the outer coast winds off of Sitka down through Craig southwesterly at 25 knots and waves running 10 11 feet. More south to southeast winds 20 to 25 knots up toward Cape Suckling. Waves there 11 feet and you're going to have uh, periods of rain, especially in through the morning and afternoon. And then southeasterly winds 20 knots within Lynn Canal, 25 knots Stevens Passage, 30 knots Dixon Entrance in the outer coast, 30 to 35 knots southeasterly winds with gust upwards of 45 knots outside of Port Alexander. And uh, as a result, waves running 14 to 15 feet here uh, out uh, on the outer coast. Uh, winds turn more easterly, 25 to 30 knots from uh, west of Gustavus outside of Yakutat Bay to Cape Suckling with waves running 13, 14 feet. For the northwestern Gulf, east winds 20 knots within Prince William Sound, four foot waves. Southeast winds to 20 knots outside of Hinchinbrook entrance. South winds 20 to 25 knots along the uh, Kenai coast and waves eight to nine feet in the entrance of Cook Inlet, looking at southeast winds to 25 knots with eight foot waves. On Sunday, strongest winds will be outside of Hinchinbrook entrance, uh, just uh, near and east of Kayak Island, 35 knot gales, 12 to 13 foot waves, 30 knot easterly winds within Prince William Sound, seven foot waves. As we go down the length of the uh, Cook uh, Inlet, Northeast winds 25 to 30 knots there, Kamashak Bay, the entrance with uh, waves 7 to 9 feet uh, from off of Anchor Point down there toward Kamashak Bay. And south winds on Saturday in the vicinity of Kodiak Island, 25 knots, highest waves 11 feet off of Akiak. And then as we go down through the peninsula, because we have that remnant original low that's sitting here just outside of, of Bristol Bay, Winds will be turning more south to westerly, and we have 35 knot gales uh, north of uh, Cold Bay, south of False Pass. Waves as high as 14 to 18 feet there north of Cold Bay, and upwards of uh, 8 to 12 feet there off of Sand Point and False Pass. 
For Sunday, winds uh, northeasterly 20 knots in the vicinity of Kodiak Island, uh, turning more north to northwesterly across the Alaska Peninsula waves on the North Pacific side. Uh, four to seven feet and generally five to as high as 12 feet there north of Cold Bay. The Aleutians, winds will not be, uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, there have been uh, some reports uh, this Friday afternoon of wind gusts as high as 75 to near 90 miles an hour around Dutch Harbor. Those winds coming down the high wind warning uh, will be allowed uh, hopefully to expire by mid uh, Friday evening. But in the wake of it, we still have west to northwest gales, 35 to 40 knots across the eastern and central Aleutians. And once you get west of Atka from Adak westward, northwest winds 25 to 30 knots. Still could be some waves locally running 15 to 20 feet, especially there uh, along the bearing side of the uh, central and eastern Aleutians. Sunday, we find uh, winds generally northwesterly across the Aleutian chain, 30 knots from Unalaska through Adak. As we get further west, winds uh, northwest 20 to 25 knots. And along the west and southwest coast, 25 knot uh, wind there inside of uh, Bristol Bay, out uh, offshore 25 knot northeast wind, Kuskokwim Bay, low circulation there right in the southeast corner of the bearing. North winds, 30 knots St. Matthew, northwesterly, 30 knots there, St. Paul, St. George waves 13 to 14 feet there out toward the Pribilovs. We still have a brisk northeasterly offshore uh, outflow winds out of Norton Sound. Parallel uh, flow there along the lower Yukon Delta waves generally five feet. And then on Sunday, look for northeast to north winds out of Bristol and Kuskokwim Bay at 20 knots. North winds 15 to 20 knots, Norton Sound down along the lower Yukon coast, but Northwesterly winds to 30 knots, St. Matthew down to St. Paul with waves there of 13 feet. Now through the Bering Strait, we're still gonna have on Saturday, north winds 30 to 35 knots on the north side of St. Lawrence Island, some higher wave action, some minor uh, beach erosion possible. So that's why there's a high surf advisory in effect there uh, through the day Saturday uh, on the north side of St. Lawrence Island. Lower Chukchi Sea, northeast to north winds, 25 to 30 knots, those winds come down. Uh, generally northeasterly, 10 to 15 knots, Wayne right up to Gyadvik and uh, Prudhoe Bay, but easterly uh, to 25 knots at Kaktovik with waves four to as high as seven feet along the Beaufort Sea coastline. And then on Sunday, kind of a mixed bag of winds around uh, 10 knots there, uh, Prudhoe Bay and Kaktovik with three, four foot waves uh, becoming more easterly at Utyadvik. And then as we drop down through the lower Chuck GC, we're looking at winds generally 25 to 30 knots out of the north waves six to as high as nine feet toward the strait. And then as we look along the west side of the Seward Peninsula, Wales offshore of Port Clarence on over to the north side of St. Lawrence, winds will continue to be out of the north on Sunday at 30 knots with waves eight to 11 feet.